All right, maybe we're gonna keep up some of the good vibes up until this next arc crashes down on us because this one's called a fun festival double date. I'm actually excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 67. We are getting up there, boys. Don't worry. I'm going to start grinding these out soon, so I can't wait to catch up. Um, but last episode, we had our way back home, kind of getting back into the Black Bull vibes, because that last arc with the witches for us, all that was so long. It felt so long since we've been back home. I am glad we're back home. I'm glad we're reminiscing. I'm glad everyone went on their little adventure to try to save Asta, but now he's back. So we're going to find out what's going on next. We still have, I think, more magic stones to get. We still have more secrets to unveil. So the party's definitely, the adventure's not over yet, but we, we have a nice little break. So I'm definitely excited for that. I say we don't waste any more time. Let's jump right onto this. I am way too excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, and many, many more to come in the future, we are four episodes ahead. Links are always in the description for that Patreon for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell if you guys are not, so you guys know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. We do have a PO box, just in case you guys are aware, so if you ever want to send me any fan art, fan mail, anything like that, anything and everything is much, much appreciated links as well are in the description let's hop right on into this black clover episode 67 uh, a fun festival double date let's do it this <laughs> single mage destroyed it all raging bull is this the festival maybe narrator of black clover is actually really good i like his voice Festival time. Ooh, I do love this opening. I'm gonna watch it again. I noticed because I rewatched it. All these little character shots are in their own environment of what they prefer. You know, like Alagdora in the sand. In the sand, you know, with the wind. I saw um, <laughs> Luck with the lightning, and then you see Asta with the darkness. It's a little detail I never noticed. That I really, I really like that. <laughs> Yes, he does. To recognize their achievements, one of my favorite ceremonies. Yep, let's have another one real soon. Oh, okay. Like an announcement, festivities type stuff. That's shoot. Hey, I'm here for it. I'm ready. Last year's star numbers were dead last without context. But that was last year. That was minus 50. That was, we were at minus 50 last year. Golden Dawn killing it. Crimson Lions, Silver Eagles, Orcas. Well, who's blo Coral Peacocks, really? Hmm. Okay. Still at 100 more than us. Who? Ooh, 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 I'm definitely taking a glow-in-the-dark fish home. Are you out of your mind? That looks dope. Going to a Clover Kingdom Festival would probably be so dope. Get some great food. Get some great drinks. <laughs> My two favorite people. <laughs> Come on. Festival food is easily the best part about festivals, 100%. Oh, oh is that who we're bringing? I think Nash and Sister Lily would love the festival. Oh! Kiato and Kahono. Oh my god, how are they doing since his leg and her throat? I feel like it's been a long time, but it really doesn't. It all... Damn! That kind of just took me back. I'm sorry, guys. But like, I just, it was like, because when I first saw them, I was like, man, it really hasn't been a long time. But then I forget. Holy shit, we had a whole arc in between the last thing with Vesto. <laughs> I miss these guys, damn. That makes sense why they, you know, they've never, they want to sing and dance, have the festivities, you know. I'm over here trying to think positive. Shouts out, shouts out my boy though. I forgot he does have a crush on Noel. I feel so bad music i know i feel so bad they were such nice people too man oh my there's no way oh my god there's no way 
How was he? How was he able to bottle that up? The witch's queen blood cocoon magic revive stuff. The ultimate healing magic in this world. Where can I buy that? I'm gonna go to the store. Buy me a bottle of blood cocoon. Man, I was so depressed just a second ago. I did not think he'd whip out a bottle of that. Oh, I know that's so cute. that's so sad. It makes me want to cry. Because again, man, they're just such nice people, you know. Oh, good, good, good guys. Start singing again. It's been so long since I heard this song too, you know. Especially with her uh, singing magic, she draws everyone outside, gets a crowd. There you go. I'm saying your first, your first little test on the surface, and it's a hit. I'm glad she's back. She's exactly back to the way she was. Yeah. I'm saying comes in here with a goddamn bazooka. The cannon to shoot fireworks. The double date. The double date to the festival. I didn't even pick up on the title of the episode. Noelle is not having that. Obviously, she wishes it was a double. Actually, no. Because that would mean she would want to be on a date with Asta. That would mean Kyoto and Kahona were on a date with you. Asta's first date with a woman, technically. Shouts out Kahono being clutch. No one gotta get the vibes going. No, it's not. A double date is way less nerve wracking than a, a single date. No. Yeah, she Kahono's just doing this to be a good friend, sister, all that. Like I said, this is purely platonic, but she's just, she's a smart, she's a smart cookie. She knows, she's, she's like egging her on in a way. She doesn't really like Asta, but she wants Noelle to come do this, come on. Oh, you gotta use magic? Oh. This could actually be a double date. This is actually kind of cute. <laughs> now she feels bad. Oh, oh, what's she gonna do? Always has a plan in mind. The haunted house. Perf Man, this is actually so funny. This is actually so realistic to how uh, a festival double date would be in real life. I've probably only gone on one festival double date in my life, but it was definitely was not like this where we were <laughs> fucking around trying to make each other like each other. But the <laughs> haunted house was definitely something we went to. We definitely got food. We definitely did the shooting the gate. Like this is so funny. This how relatable this is. Yet it being in the the Black Clover universe and how it's magic filled and it's our main. It's just it's so funny. This is just a good time. I'm glad I have good vibes before somebody gets murdered and shot in the face. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. You're gonna get scared, Noel, and Asa's gonna have to be there to console you. <laughs> like, look at Kyoto. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's smart. Oh my god. It's the demon lord Seke and his two munchkins. That's funny, that's his two munchkins right there. Yep, they come out of the painting. A magic haunted house would actually be scary as fuck. <laughs> yeah, like if you could do a normal haunted house stuff, but with magic, I'd be terrified. <laughs> Knowing them, they're probably beating their asses. Ah. Uh? How do you see a zombie, man, Asta? It literally looks like Seke. Ooh, asking him very direct. I think you should ask Noel what Asta means to him, because Asta is just oblivious as always. Come on, man. You can't just be a passerby and 
Okay. This is a good episode to remind me of the elitism that takes place in the in the kingdom and in the capital. Oh, Noel, calmly cooling. She Noel is very good at doing stuff like this, especially when it comes to consoling kids, helping out when needed to, not flying off the handle sometimes like Asta. Oh, he's gonna be a circus boy. Oh, look at him. Asta the Superman. This is a little circus play right here. <laughs> Get it. Get it, guys. Oh, okay, Kiyato. His long hair makes it super flowy when he starts dancing. I like that. Ah! <laughs> nah, for real, though, that's good balance. I wouldn't be able to stand on a ball like that for that long. Look at them. I'd tip them. Heck yeah. It's like when you're at the grocery store and you lose your parents, so they say, Paging, any parents? We have Emma at the counter waiting for you. Paging, any parents? So, they are a little lower class. She's here for work. You could tell, uh, she could tell, yeah, she's royalty. Man, I feel so bad. Okay, I know how it is in this country, but come on. That's the way I like to hear it right there. Tell these people, speak your truth, girl. Royal, aristocrat, commoner, or a peasant. Everyone should have fun together. For an actual royal to say that is probably so big at something like this, you know? You see how her mom changed up when she found out she was a Silva? Well, she's a fantastic lady. With a big heart. Heck yeah. <laughs> With Magna and Grey up there. Heck yeah. I don't think Asta means like that though, but he l loves her as such a good friend. She kn He knows he's, she's such a great person, you know? <laughs> oh my god, Yami and Jack the Ripper, the rivalry's kicking off now. Somebody told me Jack the Ripper's voice actor was somebody I know. I forgot who they said. I'm gonna listen and see if he talks again. It better not end right here. Come on, man. So like I imagined, it was going to be some fun times before we step into this next arc, which we know arcs, they're a roller coaster of emotions, happy, sad, mad, all that. So I'm glad we did get some good unwind time before we get into that. I was not expecting Kyoto and Kahono to be the additional members, plus the double date that just wasn't, you know, I completely didn't even phase in the title for this episode, but... Uh, I do love the underlying kind of joke aspect that Noel has been infatuated and taken back by Asta for a long time, but who hasn't because of how amazing he is and constantly bettering people he is. I could totally see why someone would fall in love with him. It sounded kind of weird, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. And then Asta, same thing with Noel. Him, he, he himself was going to do what she did. But also do it not in a well. First off, he came in clutch as well with the whole circus so show side act thing. So shout out Asta for that. But I don't think anyone could have made such an impact as Noel did right there, being as she is an actual royal saying this to all of these people versus Asta just saying it out of the kindness of his heart. Which both of them did that, but it's just like hers has such more of an impact because she has a. A set position in this hierarchy so it's just very interesting and it was so crazy seeing the mom switch up like those ornaments that hair your silva oh my god i'm so sorry did my daughter offend you like it's like like i don't i don't think this show is as dark as game of thrones obviously but in this sort of elitism kind of society where royals are treated like gods you know if you were to offend slash do anything out of line with a royal slash prince slash anything like that where it comes to the royal family you could easily be flogged hung murdered execute you know like stoned anything like they 
Don't I even literally there was a little girl crying because she missed her mom. She couldn't find her mom and people were literally saying she's ruining the festival for us. Look at the clothes she's wearing. She must be poor. Not even worried like are like God damn, bro. This and this world definitely needs some change, which I hope Noel becomes the queen and I hope Austin becomes the king and we can fucking change the world because it needs it. But it ended with Jack the Ripper and Yami about to go ham. I'm going to look up right now Jack the Ripper Black Clover voice actor and I'm going to see who he voices because I want to know. So I would say the biggest that I recognize is obviously Hisoka, which it, to me just shows kind of the range of some of these voice actors because Hisoka is so quiet, calm, cool, collected, yet weird, eccentric at the same time. Yet Jack Ripper is always like, I'm going to cut, you know, it's just very weird characters but i love the the range of these voice actors and i love hisoka to death i could i have 10 hisoka shirts so like great voice actor super excited for this next episode don't forget if you guys want early access full length all that jazz check out that patreon down below we do have a p.o box if you guys ever want to send me anything like i said everything's appreciated don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post thank you so much have a great day dapper squad peace out